Hello everyone, welcome to another Lizzy video. Um, in these videos, uh, we'll continue to uh, working on Zig programming language and try to uh, learn more in this language. In this video, of course, we will just uh, try to work with array lists and uh, vectors and probably uh, work around how to define uh, our own uh, our own types of list if we want to do um, if we want to have any kind of list ourselves before starting the video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and leave a comment down below uh, to to support our channel and uh, and if you have any suggestion an idea please uh, don't uh, don't don't forget to share it with us Let's go um, uh, start with um, array lists. So I've already uh, opened the file here. I just need to um, import the standard library and uh, yeah, get ready to define uh, array list. So before defining array list, uh, we will have to um, um, we will have to define a variable for our allocator. Allocators are basically uh, a means to, to access memory in Zig programming language. We can have only one in, uh, in, in the entire project and we'll have to use that to, or pass it to different uh, functions and uh, different uh, uh, different uh, methods that are using the, the memory so um, as far as I know we cannot have many uh, allocators we can only have one allocator so um, let's first define it and now that we have our allocator we can uh, um, we can try to use it to define uh, array lists. So I have defined uh, my allocator and put it in GPA. Since I'm not going to try to change GPA, I'm defined, I have defined it as a constant. I have defined my list, array list. Uh, as a variable because I'm going to try to add uh, new elements to this list and try to print them and I, I pass the type of uh, of all the elements that I'm going to put in this array list as uh, signed 32 basically I32 and I have initialized this array list uh, with our memory um, allocator GPA now let's try to add more elements to this list to try to 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 add uh, elements to this list we have to use a try um, keyword and uh, and we have to use the method uh, append so let's do it So I added three elements to this list, three numbers, and uh, I printed this list uh, in the last line. Uh, let's start to see the result. So um, uh, what I did, I, I printed the list itself. It, uh, it, uh, it's printing all the information about the list, but this is not exactly what we want to print. We just want to print items, uh, basically the values that are in the, in the list. So to do that, uh, uh, I, I have to say list.items. So let's go back and fix this. And here are all the items that exist in this uh, in this list. 
now I can try to get a slice of this list, basically um, try to separate some values of this uh, list and put it to in another list. So here what I did, uh, I defined uh, A, uh, of course I, I I haven't completed the definition. So here I have defined A as um, uh, items one and two. Uh, uh, so it's the second and the third item uh, in the in the in the list. And uh, basically, um, A is an array that uh, will have the values of five and seventeen in it and uh, we can check it of course so when we run the terminal so the important point is that um, when we write three um, uh, here in uh, when we are trying to slice this uh, this uh, this uh, items um, these indices start with the number one and it stopped and it stops one before the last number, uh, the, the number that we put here, for example. I put three, uh, so it will only give me one and two, it will never give me three. It's very similar to uh, Python syntax, if you, if you already know Python. So here is the result. Our list is four, five, seventeen, and A has uh, A is an array of uh, with two elements, five and seventeen. I forgot a very important point here. So whenever we define uh, anything with this uh, um, allocator, uh, we have to always uh, write down. Um, uh, basically we have to always try to close it so for example um, uh, there is a way to do this with zig which is uh, really easy we just use the defer function So here I use defer to say that in the last uh, line of this block, uh, run this uh, this line of code, and then I say that GPA dot free list. Basically, I free all the memory that have been used by this list, and I give it back to the operating system. Now we can try to remove all this code and try to uh, use the allocator itself uh, to 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 have a sequence of um, memory and try to use them directly without uh, defining any array list. So here I am defining uh, A as a sequence of um, five memory slots with the size of uh, U8. Basically, I'm um, I'm saying that the type of values that go in in these memories are going to be U8. And I defer this uh, uh, this this um, this statement that says the GPA that free A, basically saying that. Uh, at the end of this block, I want to free all this space that I have uh, I have taken from uh, from memory with the memory allocator. And uh, now the first thing I want to do, I want to put values in these uh, in these uh, memory slots. So um, one of the first things that I can use um, uh, I want uh, I can use the memory set function to 
to put uh, one value in all the all the elements uh, all the slots in this uh, in this sequence so what I do here I use the memset function to um, to put all the values of a uh, equal to 3 uh, all the elements of a are now equal to 3 now we can try to uh, run this and see uh, if this is gonna work Well, of course I have not changed A um, uh, as an array I have changed its uh, elements but I have not changed A, A, A itself so I have to um, uh, use const here And here is uh, our our um, our uh, array sequence uh, A with all the values the three. We can uh, now try to resize this uh, this array and try to have a different size of array. Now here I use the GPA realloc to reallocate um, the, the memory slots to A. Of course I'm changing A so I have to change the cons to var. After reallocation of course I added uh, uh, um, the, the uh, I, I, I added value to these two new uh, slots. Now we can uh, we can try to run this code and see the result. So I made a mistake um, on on how I was using realloc. Uh, in realloc, we don't uh, we don't pass the type, uh, of course. Um, so here, instead of u8, I have to pass in our, our array, which is a. And now this should be working. Let's try again. And you see that it's working. Of course, uh, these arrays, um, more dynamical arrays, basically, and array list uh, also can use all the operators that uh, we can use with the arrays, like the star star or double plus. If you haven't seen them, uh, we already discussed that in the previous video. I propose you to have a check, uh, to have a look on our previous video to see how these things work. Now we can have a look on vectors because vectors are really interesting for doing calculation and um, they have a very um, they could have uh, many applications when we are trying to uh, write down mathematical or even uh, some graphical um, um, programs that uh, use a lot of calculation. So here I have defined the two vectors uh, with the length of 4 and their type is uh, i32 and I've given the values explicitly and then I have defined uh, another vector c and uh, put the result of a equal to b inside c.
So with the vectors you can easily do all the arithmetic operation, bitwise operation and uh, some other operations that we can see the list at the, um, at the end just in, in a bit later. Uh, so for now we can just see the result. Um, You see that it types this um, C and uh, this is 4, 11, 9, 14. We can check it. Yeah, the result of the sum is um, between A and B. If you do an element wise sum, it's basically 4, 11, 9, and uh, 14. The same as what we had in the result. Now we can try to check all the all the types that we can use, uh, all the operators that we can use with the vectors. Of course, there are uh, the operators plus plus and uh, star star. Uh, we can uh, use them for vectors as well, and uh, there are many more operators that we can use on vectors. Um, we will see the list now. So here is the Zig documentation. I will put the page uh, link uh, down below so you can check it for yourself um, so in the section that is related to vectors you can see all the uh, all the elementary oper basic operators basically here uh, we can have comparison operators bitwise operators uh, arithmetic operators and uh, we can even use squ uh, sqrt for uh, square root or seal or log function and which is very nice uh, for for doing uh, if you want to do large amount of calculation with some areas you don't have to define them from uh, beginning and you can use the or the, the ones that are uh, already defined uh, in zig programming language that's it for today um, thank you for uh, watching this video i hope that the information here is useful for you as uh, of course it's useful for me as well because I'm, I'm only trying to learn this don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and leave a comment down below if you have anything in mind about this video or if there is a subject that you want uh, you want me to have a look at or if there, or if there is any um, uh, problem with the information that I said see you in the next video Thank you.